So today I did some springtime bass fishing. I did everything from bed fishing, big swim bait fishing, and even a little bit of live scoping. So stay tuned. I hope y'all enjoy today's video and let's get right into it. I did just get another new swim bait in. If you guys been keeping up with the channel, you'll know I've been doing a lot of bigger swim bait stuff. This is the Clutch Echo or Eco. I can't remember exactly what it was, but really awesome looking glide bait right there by Clutch. It's springtime. Should be, you know, shallow. There should be at least biting. I don't know if they'll be on beds yet. I'm guessing they will be since the water's already 60 degrees. Ooh. Really choppy. Really good action. Oh yeah, this thing looks freaking good. Very walky. I mean, you can see the uh, the angle on it. That that normally gives it a really choppy, really walk the dog like action. The paint is actually baked into the resin, and so you can hit this thing off of logs, rocks, and stuff, and the paint won't just start chipping off. Oh my gosh, there's literally a fish on a bed right here. Hey, little buddy. Oh my gosh, look at him. Go eat that thing. Eat it. It's on your bed, just munching away at these eggs. Come on. I feel you like a jig. He had it. <laughs> He's right back on the bed. No hesitation. Got him that time. Got him that time. Again, not a giant, but first fish of the day and first bed fish of the year. Not a giant. Look at those red eyes. Ooh, he's got the he's got love in his mind. I'm gonna get him back in so he can guard that bed. Give me some eye drops, my dude. Alright, well, we know they're on beds. That's that's cool. One cast fishing flipping jig. It's got this nice EWG hook on it. You can uh, completely just get rid of the weed guard. And I got a missile baits D bomb on there. And then I got that on 20 pound fluoro, eight two to one gear ratio reel. And I got that on the Dobbins 765 flipping rod. That might be the deal for today. Might do, be doing some bed fishing as long as that sun stays out. If it seems like it's just a lot of males, maybe we'll kind of back off and, and see if we can find some females that just haven't pushed up yet. Oh yeah, there's another one. All right, I want to try something. Oh, he doesn't. He's not afraid at all. We're gonna see if we can't get some cool footage of him. He's already back on it. He's probably looking right at the camera like, what the heck is this thing? It looks like it's got eyes. Oh yeah, he's like looking right at the camera. That's so cool. in there oh nosing on it
Oh, he, he had it. I didn't even know it. Oh, I didn't even realize it. And he spit it out before I could set the hook. He's got it. Oh, I was about to give it to him. Oh, you sneaky little guy. I think I found his, his sweet spot. He does not like it right there. Once I get like out here, he'll nose down on it and stuff, but he's like, he'll nose down on it, but he just, he won't get it. But right here is like, that must be like the spot. Oh, he won't, he won't eat it all the way. He's not a giant, but it'd just be so cool to get this on film. Got him that time. There we go. Get up in here. Let's go. That was probably so cool on the camera. I hope it was, hope it was recording everything. Boom, little guy again. Pretty red eyes right there. That last one though, he had some, some piercing red eyes. Awesome. There we go. Sick. Dang it, I wasn't recording on this one. All right, well, look at that right there. Clutch just got smashed. Oh my gosh, guys. Okay, it's way smaller than I originally thought. Probably like a four. Why did it look so big in the net for a second? Still a good one. That's a solid fish right there on that clutch, guys. Let's go. Please work. Yeah, 1.6 pounds. Oh my gosh. There we go. Four pounds, 13 ounces. We'll call it that. Might be a little off, but. Thank you. Picked up the glide bait. Started working around some of these lay downs. A couple logs laying over the water and she came up and smoked it. That was so sick. It's already got some teeth marks. Look at that. Got some scratches and teeth marks on it, but the paint is not chipping. That's what I like about that. That's pretty sweet. Seven foot six, medium, heavy, moderate, fast. This is supposed to be a deep cranking stick. 20 pound fluoro and my seven two to one. The seven two to one, seven three to one, 200 size reel. But I am gonna keep trying that for a little while. Just kind of burn the bank fish up pretty shallow and just uh fish this glide where it's probably designed to be fished up around this cover and stuff you know i'm fishing with the wind to my back so i don't have to be on the trolling motor as much oh man big 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 alligator over here that's a big boy holy cow that might be the same one that I saw last year. Around the same time, I like kind of snuck up on him. We got some really cool shots of him. He jumped in the water, swam away. So cool. 
I wouldn't be surprised if that's, if that's the same one. I think this is the same spot I saw him at too. So there's a, a very good chance that's the same one. You know what? I gotta confirm it. The one that I saw was missing a foot. Let me throw the drone up. Golly, he is fat. That's a big boy. I think that's him. Yes, that's him. I see three legs. I'm almost positive that's him. We need to get a name for him. Leave a name for this alligator down in the comments. That is so cool. Ladybug. That was a bee flying on me. Hello, little ladybug. Alright, I think I just found, I definitely just found another one in the bed. There it is. The bed, at least. I don't know if the fish is there. Nah, he's on it. Alright. I'm gonna try to get another shot of this. Got a little call tag attached to the camera. Drop it right in front of him again. It looks like they're pretty locked on. I saw two this time. It's super deep and the bottom's really dark. So anything like a green pumpkin or like a natural color is just not gonna show up. That's why I got this white jig on, this white swim jig. Oh, he, I don't know if he had it or not. Oh, he chased it all the way up. white jig makes it good to see and then once it disappears you know that oh once it disappears you know that he had it not that time though <laughs> Keeps fanning on it and and just pecking at it. He's just trying to scare it away. He's not really trying to trying to eat it. It's not what they're what they're up there for. They're they're there to scare off any type of predators that might be trying to that might be trying to eat their eggs. He does not like this jig. I mean, he's just playing with it. Yeah. Oh, he does not like it. <laughs> Look at him carrying it off. He does not have the hooks. Look, he just drops it. And once he drops it, he, he just turns back around and goes right back to the bed. Has no interest in, in eating it at all. He just wants it gone. Watch, he's gonna do it again. 
Nope. Yeah, that time it took the whole, it took the claws. Come on, dude. <laughs> He's mad though. He's not happy. Oh, I got the camera. Dang it, dude. It's crazy because he's still just sitting there. Oh, yeah, that's a perfect angle right there. Scared him away a little bit. After I hooked him for a second, I haven't seen him or the other one in a while, so they weren't that big or anything, but I don't know. He'll probably be back, but I don't really feel like waiting. They weren't that big and I'd rather go and try to find a bigger one. Well, that didn't take long. Found another bed, another fish, literally like 20 feet down from the last one. So give this guy a shot, see if he'll eat. Got the camera back down there, recording, hopefully. Had at that time winds picking up a little bit making it a little bit harder but all right we're gonna go back to the white one i can't see anything god i feel him doink it he just won't hold on to it Oh, he doinked it again, dude. Stop doinking it. Got him that time. Let's go. Ugh, another little buck. Look at those red eyes again, dude. They just get so red this time of year. Just when they're when they're spawning. There you go, buddy. But the last one, pretty sure had two. It'll be interesting to look at the footage later too. No. Oh, I stopped recording. Dang it. That is so annoying. Well, that was gonna be really cool. I mean, I probably wouldn't have wasted my time with him because he was so small, but I wanted to get the shot and it freaking didn't record, of course. It's getting hard. This wind and these overcast overcast conditions makes it really hard. So I don't know if we'll I don't know if we'll do that or not.
There we go. That was sick. Finally got another one. That was on the... Nah, that's not as big as I thought it was about to be. Ooh, come here. There we go. Let's go. Oh, she choked it. Oh my gosh, barely hooked. Barely hooked. Jig head and minnow. I mean, you guys know it's been getting it done all over the place. Like every tournament this year has been one on it. Every pro tournament, probably so many other tournaments, but that was so cool. Just scoped it off the bank. Got her to come all the way up to under the boat and then I dropped it and then she came up and was looking for my bait and I didn't see it. And then I reeled down and it was just tight. Got a nice three pounder. She's been caught a few times right there. Let's check the tail. Nope, no wear and tear on the tail. All right, that was cool. I can get down with that. It's just a little ball jig head. Uh, Z-Man Jerk Shads, four inch in the Slam Shady color. 10 pound liter, 15 pound braid, seven foot six medium light, 3000 size reel. We've kind of done it all today. We've scoped, we've bed fish, caught them on swim baits. Besides the beds, I can't really figure out a good pattern. And like the bed fishing is good, but I haven't seen that many big ones on them yet. And it's it's so cloudy and the winds, winds die down quite a bit. So maybe we'll try it again, but it's hard when it's this this amount of low light, it's hard to, to get them to eat or hard to see them really. And so resorted to scope and here we go. Another one, let's go. I'll take that. That's a good one too. It's a better one. That was sick. I was trying this all, like not all day, but I've been, I was trying this a lot earlier. I don't know why they decided to want to do it now, but I'll take it. Let's go. Calm down, calm down. That's a better one too. Probably, probably about a four. Look at that. Choked again. Oh my gosh. That's a solid one. Another decent one on the scope. Jig head minnow. I'll take it. Ooh. Just gave me a little chomp. As I was explaining what was going on, and that one just came out of nowhere. I didn't even really see anything. It just came out of out of nothing. Been all over the place today. I can't figure out a, a good pattern, but that was two in like five minutes. Not too long after I picked this up too, so that, that feels good. There we go. That was sick. Watching Trey McKinney win the Elite Series. That was sick. Let's go. It's about to make another cast. It's ripping, it's reeling it up really fast. I just see something rock it up. So I stopped and then just like a doop. And sure enough, and that's three solid ones on the uh, on the scope. I don't know what this is out here. It looks like a brush pile or something out here off the bank. And that guy just came up and smoked it. I had a feeling, you know, some of these nicer sized fish, you know, they might still be not pushed up super shallow yet. And all I'm doing is just giving it little jiggles and just slowly reeling it, you know. Trying to find it on the scope and for the, for the ones that have bitten it they just come in hot and, and just destroy it 
All right, y'all. Well, I think that is going to call it for me today. It was, a, it was a good day. You know, caught some on a swim bait, caught some scoping. We got some really sick bed fishing footage. Hope y'all enjoyed today's video. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see y'all in the next video. Peace.